What's up YouTube? Back again with another video and another tip I want to share with you all. Something I, again I've been using for a couple of years. Staying on that vibe of browsers. Basically this is something, um, they're called web apps basically. Web applications or progressive web apps or PWAs. Basically you know, nowadays we live in the web browser. I do everything in the browser. My default browser now is Vivaldi, as you probably know from my previous video. I love that browser. But um, one thing it doesn't do well is allow me to create something called a web app. Now, a web app is basically, you know, when you're using your browser, you typically got like maybe 30, 40, 20 tabs open. And what I like to do with particular websites uh, that I visit frequently is I like to get them into a dedicated tab that looks like an application that's installed on my computer. But basically it's just using a browser tab that's dedicated to that website. Yeah. And it's nice because it feels like it's one can com one complete, uh, it feels like an application, like its own thing, like a normal insulate uh, application that you would install on your computer. And I really like that. So if I open up, for example, let me just, let me just backtrack. Like I used to use Chrome from day one, from the first year it was uh, released, I was using Chrome and it was in Chrome that I first started using uh, web apps. Yeah where you basically just create your application for that particular website that you uh, that you like to visit. Then I was saying in my previous video as well, I kind of was stopped using Vivaldi, was using a bit of Chrome and actually started using Microsoft Edge quite a bit as well. And they also introduced this function a while ago. And in all honesty, Edge, they actually make it much easier to create web apps. Yeah, I'm going to show you in a minute. And I actually like to use Edge to create them now, not Chrome. I stopped using Chrome for a little while now. I don't know. I think maybe I've just been using it for too long. I just found it to be quite uh, a resource hog when I had it open on my Mac and I would leave my Mac on standby. It would kind of eat up the battery quite a bit if I killed all the apps on my Mac, especially Chrome, and left it on standby, you know, the battery uh, the deduction in the battery percentage was like very minimal. Right, let me just open up this edge here. Just quiet that for a second. And so you can see I've got edge, I've got my tabs open here at the top. And uh, for example, let's take this page here, this, this, sound, this BBC Sounds Giles Peterson page. Say I, I do visit his webpage a lot and say I want to make this into a dedicated app. So what I like to do is I just like to what or my my goal then is to remove like you know this address bar here to remove the home page icon backwards forwards refresh and all this for me I call noise I want to get rid of that so how do I make a web app or well, what I can do is I can just uh, have the tab activated I go to this burger menu here and I go down to apps and what I can then do is use this option here where it says install this site as an app. I click on that. And what I do then is I get the option here to name my app whatever I want. So I'm going to, you see it's by default, just pick this title. I don't want that. I want it to be a little bit more specific. So I'm going to call it this, Charles Peterson. And then you can see it's telling you what it's going to do here. So what I'm going to do is click on install. Then I'm going to still get further options and the options have actually popped down into my lower screen. So let me just drag this up here. And what you can see, what it's actually done is created the app. And what's the difference? Well, I'm going to show you in a second. Let me just complete these options here. So the options I have is the pin to taskbot, which I like because this is what I want. I want quick access to this website. Pin to my start menu. Yes, I like that as well. So I leave those two always by default. Now, if you have your short, your desktop shortcuts, if you're one of those people who have lots of desktop shortcuts, I don't. As you can see, I have nothing. I always hide mine because I like that minimal look. Um, so I uncheck that box. And then you also have the option for this, which I found really useful actually, is to auto start this app where every time you restart your computer, bam, this app will start up. Ultra useful. I do this more on my work computer 
because if I have to do a restart, you know, and I want some apps to be just there without me having to worry about starting them up, auto restart, they load on every restart. I think that's excellent. For this particular one, having it pinned to the taskbar is enough notification or it's enough uh, for me. So let's just leave these default settings here and click on allow. So <clears throat> I'm just going to resize this a little bit. So the difference is now this just looks like a very clean, very clean web page or a page or an app. And now if you look at my taskbar, I've actually got it minimal. I've actually got uh, the icon there. So this gives me really quick access to this web page. It's what I call now a uh, Giles Peterson application. It just takes me straight to his page. And it's good to get the website, the URL or the link that you want, yeah, that you always want to come to because it's always going to open up in that link. Yeah. So I just closed it down. And if I want to get back to that page again, I just come down, and open it up. Bam. There you go. I don't have right now. Yeah, right now. OK, right now, what we have is no address bar, no home. And see these icons that we had here previously and all the previous tabs. We don't have that. We just get rid of it and just have a dedicated page to this website. Love it. I absolutely love that. And I really encourage you to um, go forth and use this if you if you've not done this before. And the nice thing about Edge is you still got some odd, some other options here. If you click on the menu, you can, you know, still pin to the taskbar. If you didn't manage to do that when you first created this app, you can refresh, you can go back and so on and so forth. And I absolutely love that. So let me just minimize that. And if you look at my taskbar here, you can see I've got other ones that I've created. And it's hard to tell which one is an actual app that is actually installed uh, or which is just a, a web app. But this one, you know, we just created, that's the web app. This is another one I created, which is actually using Google Chrome. And if I click on that, that comes up with uh, just the Novation homepage. Actually, let me just bring this up side by side and let me just minimize Edge, the browser. So let me just put this Chrome web app on the left and I'll bring back up Giles here, put him on the right. And you can see the difference here, slight difference, but you still got access to like a menu where you've got some options here in Chrome. You can access your extensions as well. But basically that's it. It's just a, a really nice, quick way of accessing your uh, websites and kind of combining them into a, a, an application. And I absolutely love that. Yeah. So this is Vivaldi. This is the actual application Vivaldi. So, you know, these are the applications down here. This Clockify is actually a web app as well. I've got WPS Office, but this is an application. I've got another web app here, Ploop, which I use for uh, as a metronome, a really poly polyrhythmic metronome. It's absolutely fantastic. And I mean, if you look at this, you would think this, well, this is an app, but it's not. This is just a web page and I've turned it into a web app. And this is what I love about it. It just feels so you know, complete. What else have we got here? Splice. Now this is an application. Obviously we've got Windows Explorer, Microsoft Edge, obviously. And here again, I've got another web app, which is WhatsApp. I'm not going to open that now. Um, and let's have a look. I've got SoundCloud, which is also another web app, which uh, I believe I use. Yeah, I use Edge to create this. So love them. Absolutely love them. Especially it's good when you have them on your taskbar or you pin them to your start menu. You can still access them either way. Even better when you auto start them. So you have them ready to go each time you, you log into your machine or restart it. So that's basically it for today. Just a very quick video on web apps. And I think they're really extremely valuable. I think they're really good for your workflow, for your productivity. Very useful for, for the websites that you go to a lot and you just want to access them, especially for things like music. If you listen to music, SoundCloud or, you know, whatever, highly encourage you to use them. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.